What's up guys? In this video, we're gonna cover how to use the Classic 2 saddle. All right, when you get your saddle, it's gonna come in a box that looks like this. It's got a code on the side, scan that with your phone and read the safety instructions. Then you can get rid of this. In the box is gonna be your saddle and a set of leg straps. Set these aside for the moment. To put your saddle on, I like to extend both the waist belt and the bridge to the maximum length. Grab those two pieces of rope together and step through your saddle. Bring it up to your waist. Grab the stop or knot marked by the red shrink tube on the waist belt. Pull that tight. This belt is free floating, so you can put this knot wherever you want. Get your saddle centered on your body just where you like it so it's most comfortable for the hike in. At that point, I like to take my bridge, tighten that down all the way. I'll grab the tag ends from both my waist belt and my bridge, wrap them up real quick in my hand, and stuff that bunch of rope right into my waist belt. I'm now super compact for my hike into the woods. Very streamlined and not going to get hooked on a bunch of brush. All right, once I've made it to the tree I'm going to hunt out of, I'll pull my removable leg straps out of my dump pouch. I'm going to clip these on to the small loop on the back of the saddle. This is very easy to do after you've done it a couple of times. You just find the loop and snap the G-hook on there. First couple times it makes it a little bit easier. If you just loosen your waist belt a little bit, spin the saddle around, put that loop in front of you, clip the hook right into it, spin my saddle back around, then I'm going to reach down between my legs and grab the remaining two G-hooks and clip each of them from top down into the small loops on the inside of the bridge loops on the saddle. Now I'm going to tighten those leg straps down so they're snug but not overly tight so that you don't get restricted climbing the tree. When climbing the tree with a Classic 2 saddle you have dedicated lineman belt loop attachment points. So I'm going to pull my lineman belt out of my dump pouch, clip in to one side, go around the tree, clip in the other side, tighten up, and now I'm ready to climb the tree. So I set my sticks or whatever my preferred climbing method is and climb up to hunting height. All right, I've now reached hunting height. I've set my platform. I've added my tether rope to the tree. I've loosened the bridge rope on the saddle and I've clipped it into my tether, making sure to lock my carabiner. Now prior to putting weight into the seat of your saddle, the first time using it, we suggest that the Prusik knots on the bridge loops of the saddle are centered or just ever so slightly above center. So I've got those knots there. Now I'm gonna take the saddle, I'm gonna pull it down slightly so that the bottom, or the, excuse me, the top edge of the saddle is right below my waistline. I'm gonna lean back and put weight into the saddle. And you're done, you're hunting. All right, let's talk about maximizing comfort while in the tree with a Classic 2 saddle. The beauty of the Classic 2 is there's only a couple of minor adjustments that you can make to fine tune comfort and it's designed that way intentionally. It's meant to be extremely simple and easy to find comfort. Now if you do find that you want to fine tune how your weight is being held by the Classic 2, there's two simple adjustments that can be made. I previously mentioned the Prusik knots on the bridge loops. If you'd like to have the top edge of the saddle holding more of your weight, simply move those knots towards the top edge of the saddle. If you'd like to have a larger cupping feel and more weight being held by the bottom edge of the saddle, simply move those knots down towards the bottom edge of the saddle on those bridge loops. Minor adjustments go a long way. And make sure both knots on either side match. The second adjustment that you can make is adjusting the length of your bridge rope. This is not unique to the Classic 2. Most saddles have an adjustable bridge, but the general rule of thumb is that the shorter the bridge, the more pull inwards towards the center of your body the saddle is going to behave like. The longer the bridge, the more of a relaxed feel you're going to get around your hips. This is purely personal preference. You're just going to have to test out what length works best for you. 
And then once you have it there, we suggest making a little mark with a marker on the bridge rope so you can set it there every time. That's everything you need to know on how to use the Classic 2 saddle. We appreciate you taking the time to watch. Good luck this fall.